But I did want to talk to you guys about something. You may have noticed this already, but if you haven't, What's up fam? Good morning. I'm talking a little bit quiet because everybody that's home is still sleeping, AKA only Chris and Addy. They're still sleeping. I have been on Hawaii time for the last like week. I don't know what's wrong with me. And it's only two hour difference. You'd think it wouldn't make that big of a difference. But for some reason I have been struggling since we got back from vacation. I've been going to bed so late, waking up and dying and then like taking a nap when I drop the kids off at school and then dying the rest of the day. It's been, it's been rough and it shouldn't have been that rough because it's only a two hour difference. But for some reason I have been struggling with this time change. And last night I forced myself to go to sleep at a normal time. That way I could wake up and function today. And here I am functioning. I mean, I've been functioning every day, but but like Addie, oh, she's been struggling and even Chris too. We've just, I don't know, it's really it really threw us off. We were there for almost two weeks, so our body kind of got accustomed to it. Anyway, that's besides the point, except the fact that they're still sleeping and that's why I'm whispering. But I'm gonna be babysitting Malachi today. Amber and Gabe have some class that they're going to. And so they asked if I could watch him, which of course I'm always down for some baby snuggles and some baby time. They said they were gonna drop Malachi off a little bit before 10. Amber just said, baby didn't go to bed till hella late last night, so I don't wanna wake him up. <laughs> Looks like I might not get my baby snuggles after all. That's okay, next time. Good morning, sleepyheads. Hi, you're happy. Woo, you wiggling. <laughs> Holy gloominess outside. It is pouring. It's raining. It's raining tacos from out of the sky. Oh, I wish. I'm hungry. You want to make some lunch? Yeah. You want to help me make lunch? Yeah. What did you say? There's muddy puddles. There's what? Muddy puddles. There's muddy puddles outside? Yeah. Are you going to jump up and down in muddy puddles? What a mud dress. Well, I know. You like to sleep naked. Can you go outside? Uh, maybe when it stops raining, we'll go outside and jump in the puddles, okay? Okay. Hey. Addie is obsessed with Peppa Pig. As soon as it started raining, she goes, look, there's muddy puddles outside. <laughs> the little accent. I love the rain. It just makes me want to, like, take a nap next to a warm fire, watch a movie. I don't ah. feel productive, and I have so much to do today. And they cook this today. Are you going to help mommy cook? Yeah. Does this have a birthday cake in it? A birthday cake? A cake. This is our Hello Fresh. Oh. Where do I have it inside? It has food inside. You want to help me cook it? Yeah. I made dinner last night by myself and I didn't burn the house down, so I'm going to cook lunch today because Hello Fresh is sponsored. And I did video. not help mommy. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to open it though, okay? Okay, what should we cook today? Um, that. Figgy balsamic pork. Ew. <laughs> Chicken cheddar fajitas. Okay. Or beef ragu spaghetti. Hmm. I love spaghetti. I knew you were gonna pick that one. You love spaghetti. I love spaghetti to pull off my knees. <laughs> we're going to be making some spaghetti for lunch. Yeah! I have I yet to mess up. A Hello Fresh meal. We all know that I'm not that great in the kitchen. All of their meals can be made in 30 minutes or less. They take someone like me, who doesn't know how to cook, and make it possible to make something like this. An amazing chef curated meal. They have 22 different options to choose from. You can pick your delivery date. Stop. What do you have? What? You gonna go through our recipe? What do we have in the bag, Miss Addie? I'm uh, just like spaghetti. What is this? Spaghetti. Yeah. What else do we have? We have mini mashed potatoes. I love these. Tomatoes, not potatoes. And these are cheese. What's that? I don't know. Garlic. Garlic. Is that us? Yeah. These are mashed potatoes. Those are tomatoes, not potatoes. Peppa Pig always eats spaghetti. <laughs> If you ever heard of HelloFresh, it's a food delivery service that delivers um, ingredients directly to your doorstep. And HelloFresh is now from $5.66 per serving. So it's super pocket friendly, very inexpensive. What? Okay, I thought you were gonna help me cook. So go to HelloFresh.com and enter my code JESSAM10 during HelloFresh's New Year's sale and you can get 10 free meals, including free shipping. So I'll have that link down below. Okay, you're gonna open the onion for me? Yeah. Thank you. The onion. I got the iron open. Can I cut the by myself? 
<laughs> Let me help you. Can I have a knife? <laughs> I can't cut. We had to open it. this deliciousness. Oh, it's so nice because they have pre-proportioned ingredients, which means less meal prep, which means less cleanup, and less food waste. And it's Addy approved. Is it good? <laughs> yeah, do you wanna use your fork? No. <laughs> Funny story, when I went to Switzerland, I was in like fifth grade or something. When I was there, they taught me all of like the proper ways that you're supposed to eat. So like you're not supposed to have your elbows on the table. When you have spaghetti, you're supposed to have a spoon. When you twirl it onto the spoon, they showed me which side the knives and the forks go on. But don't worry, here's my kid eating without any silverware. You win some and you lose some. The circus is home. Hey, old man. Yeah. Let me see your hair. Today was the 100th day of school. Oh, it, it kind of came out, huh? Where's your glasses at? It looks like it came off on your forehead. Did people dress as if they were 100? Yeah, but not a lot of people. Oh, not a whole lot. We sprayed his hair gray this morning. Mom, look. Oh, wow. It has marshmallows. Does it have 100 things in there? Yeah. Wow. Do you guys do anything special for the 100th day of school? No. Oh. Intermediate doesn't do that stuff. Oh. Well, anything third grade and up. That's so sad. All the fun happens and when Mom, you're in the kindergarten. It's the 100th day of school. Let me see, old man. This is how he went to school this morning. He's got his little khakis on. I don't know if 100 year olds would wear Star Wars shoes, but would you wear Star Wars shoes with your 100? Yeah. <laughs> Get your boots on. I got my boots. You got your boots? Yeah. Okay. Where's your jacket? You need your jacket too. I promised Addie that we would go jump in muddy puddles. Oh, they found one. You know what, there's some big muddy puddles over here. You wanna go find some big muddy puddles? Yeah! Okay, come here. Oh, a rainbow, where? I don't see it. Do you see it? Here, I don't see it. Rainbow! Where's it at? Are you showing me on the camera? Look, right there. Where, right there? Look. Oh, I do see it. Barely, right there, huh? Yeah. A rainbow! All of a sudden, the rain went away. And the sun is starting to come out and there's a little rainbow over there. There's this place on the end of our street where the leaves clog up the little drain That's thing, but, <laughs> but it's the muddy puddle is like giant. It's huge. There's a big old puddle at the end of the street. So we're gonna take a little walk down to that puddle. Hey, for you bigger kids, little splashes, little jumps. Do not kick the water, okay? This is not a swimming pool. We're just going to jump a little bit. Okay, Kaden and Kaisen, I'm mostly talking to you too. I'd like to be as close to you as I can get. If I could stop the time, sure. It looks like we're having some <laughs> issues over there. The walk of shame back home when you're soaking wet. I'm soaking wet. You are soaking wet. My might be uncool. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, it encourages a good and early bath time though. So mom win. Apparently today is the day, the first of the days anyway. My mom is going to be bringing some of her stuff over here. If you missed the video explaining why, I will link that down below. But basically, long story short, my mom is moving into our house temporarily. <laughs> You're right, that's more clickbaity, huh? My mom lost her house and now she has nowhere to live, so she's going to move in with me. I'm just kidding, that's not the case at all. She sold her house and she actually got the price she asked for, like it was really, really good. Everything happened so fast, which is not very usual. And it was actually a little bit faster than she would have liked at this very moment, but because of the circumstances, it actually like worked out perfectly. So we are going to be squeezing into our house for the next few months until our new house is built because she works here. She works here in 
this area and it doesn't make sense for her to move and go get a house where we're moving. It also doesn't make sense for her to waste money in rent when she works 90% of the time and my kids are in school 90% of the time up until like the month that we're moving. It's literally just a place for her to sleep basically in the meantime. It makes way more sense financially for her to move in here until our new house is built. So it has been a blessing in disguise for us because it has required me to basically start going through all of our stuff that we're going to be moving when we do move in the summer. So I'm getting a lot of the work done now instead of doing it like in June, July, August, whenever our house is done being built. We have decluttered so much in our house. It feels so good, you guys. So many people do this like minimalist thing now. I want to be one of those, but I don't think I could ever do that. We could never be minimalist, but it's inspiring to me. But it really has has opened my eyes to think that like just because something is in good condition doesn't mean that you have to keep it so we've been donating so much of our stuff to multiple different places if anybody's local and has a good idea of where we should take our stuff um, let me know because we're still going through lots of it but our number one thing right now is to clean out Landon's room because this is the room that she's gonna be staying in the closet is cleared out the toys are pretty much all cleared out we just have to take out the books right here um, the main thing that needs to go now is this bed because they are going to be moving their queen bed in here because it makes more sense my mom and dad don't want to snuggle onto a twin bed but the dresser is completely cleared out except for this one drawer I have some of like the kids memory stuff in here which is another thing that I'm working on trying to not keep every little thing that's meaningful but like this was the first hat that his head ever touched it still smells like him. <laughs> I feel so judged the kids each have their little bin that they are allowed to put stuff that is special to them in and we're going through uh, Tommy and Kate one of I don't know if it was Tommy's or if it was Caden's but one of theirs and there's an old Easter egg hard-boiled in it <laughs> I'm so surprised that the room didn't smell bad but that bin, I opened it up and I was like, oh my God, I'm dying. What are you doing? Why are you moving the TV? They want that. <laughs> $45 <laughs> Is a deposit of $200 per picture in the room. No, I'm just kidding. We're not charging them anything to stay with us. Is it moving day? <laughs> the whole back truck is full. <laughs> All right, ready to see a new humble abode? Oh, we're ready. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm ready. Are you ready? Ready. <laughs> I'm ready. Daisy! <laughs> Whole top bag! <laughs> I told Mimi! Poppy, that means you get stuck on the bottom. Oh, look at that smile! <laughs> I love your Girl Scout um, Instagram post. Why are you guys here? I'm bringing a bunch of stuff. This is not a real dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> what about. <laughs> <laughs> no, what's that? Oh, no. <laughs> You guys get the scary room. I don't know if this is a good idea. I think we're gaining another three year old. Okay, yes, I will not forget. You official, your official move-in date is Monday-ish. Sunday, Monday. So we got three more days. But we'll be at the dance convention. Please come with me to the dance convention. Not in my house in 20 years might be my last night. How do you feel? I know, I mean like everything. <laughs> the good, the bad, the, how do you feel? I'm excited. <laughs> He's like, I'm ready. This is a, a, like a whole new chapter of our of our lives. That's true. It's true. It's fun. It's exciting. Yeah. It's refreshing. It's sad. It's it's yeah. everything. Yeah. It's like moving. I mean, I think probably anybody who moves. Landon is was that. born in that house. You know. Yeah. <laughs> I need to do one more walkthrough in it before. You should. And just like, because that was my room as a child, yeah. and. Steps. Yeah. Oh. But I did want to talk to you guys about something. You may have noticed this already, but if you haven't, I 
have decided that I'm going to change my upload schedule. For the past like year, year and a half maybe, I don't even know, for the past long time, my upload schedule has been Monday through Friday. I upload on the weekdays, that's been my thing. But I have decided that I'm going to tweak that a little bit and instead of posting every single weekday, I'm just gonna post every other day throughout the whole year. More or less, there might be some weeks where you know I just feel like posting a little bit more but for the most part I'm just gonna be posting every other day it's gonna be easier on me like work wise like the workload is gonna be high it just makes a little bit more sense now with my lifestyle and the way things go and we're like so busy all the time it'll give me a little bit more time to edit each video and a little bit more time to vlog and I'm hoping it'll be a little bit less stressful although every other day is like a lot so I don't know and I'll essentially be working every day because I'll be editing one day and vlogging the next hopefully that's how it works I don't know Mowgli what are you doing he just wants some love and every time I vlog all of a sudden he like gets the itch to come love on me But I just wanted to let you guys know it's not gonna be too different You're not gonna notice a huge difference I'm gonna upload about the same amount every single month, but for the first time in forever I'm going to be uploading every other day all of 2020 the whole year until vlogmas Then I'll be uploading every day probably I'm assuming I'm doing vlogmas again every other day sounds like more honestly It's gonna be able to be about the same workload. It's just gonna be distributed like evenly for me so it just makes more sense for me you guys probably won't notice a huge difference because a lot of the times i ended up uploading four days a week instead of five because i was drowning and editing so essentially this will give me like one day to edit one day to vlog one day to edit one day to vlog so i'll be working every single day it'll just be distributed differently hopefully this works it might not i don't even know but i just want to let you guys know i'm going to be uploading every other day now yeah! yay sound effect and that is it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching i hope you have a fantastic day and we will talk to you guys what do i say in our next video in another another day i'll talk to you guys in another another day i need something to say now anyways that is it for this video is so i hope you <laughs> oh, 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 oh. i'll talk to you in our next video bye guys